We don't need to put it on both surfaces. We could, but I think it's going to just be redundant because um, this is going to hydraulic and squish that glue all into every nook and cranny there. So let's put it up on there. Just kind of find its home. This is where it gets messy. Okay. Now, I've had jigs before for clamping them this way. Um, sometimes it, with these old guitars, the whistle drill, it just cracks the hell out of the sides. Okay. If you get enough pressure, let's wipe that hand. So I can use my rag and there we go. I got my rag back. Okay, so we don't have a lot of old right now. We don't have a lot of excess, yeah. uh, which is fine because that it does nothing. Yeah, to, we for got this. contact, full contact inside that. Okay, so we're going to use this for a clamp here. This up inside. Um, I had a clamp for this very purpose before. Make sure we're on there good. I'm just gonna double check my joint there. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Look at my little friend here. Just prior prior to this gluing process that we're doing right now, you're seeing this neck go back on the guitar. Um, we dry fit the um, the neck onto the instrument and double check the alignment uh, with straight edges. Uh, and we are using a, a little, basically a sheetrock screw on the interior of the instrument to suck that uh, neck into the body of the guitar. A little uh, way to reassure that we've got good contact in there. I might actually see if you can, can you get that up in there? This hole's going to be real close to the, you might have a little trouble finding it now, but it's... Ratcheting, non ratcheting screwdriver here. Right. You know, the hard part is getting the tricky part. Hmm? You're going to hold my hand. Get this started here. Basically, this is just to kind of keep it honest while we're getting all the, make sure the angles, and I, we dry fit it and check the angles, and they were good. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and all it'll do is, after I get this started here, you can run up and grab it. edge then we'll check the side to side see I marked the bridge looking good so far let's check our side to side okay your eyes are better than mine so we'll use that what we're trying to do is mark this we'll use the edge of our board see where we're at we're about to See your gap there? Three sixteenths is my thought. Yeah, and let's check this side. We're spot on. It's up against yeah, okay. So we're that thing is dead. That's perfect. So it's dead on? I'd say so, man. That's what it you know, when you dry fit things a few times and you can get that accuracy. Yep. Okay, and our gap is I mean look how good of a joint we got there. It's unbelievably good.
up. I'm ready to uh, let the glue dry on this thing. We've got a killer joint and uh, both very happy with the neck angle uh, at this point. Um, we have room to adjust the saddle on this thing to make it uh, as uh, perfect as or better than uh, when it was built. Uh, this is a very old instrument. It's very sentimental to the owner. <clears throat> um, you know, thus far we've pulled the neck off of the guitar using uh, heat and steam. Um, we have polished the fretboard, oiled the fretboard. We have rebuilt the um, dovetail joint in, uh, on the neck. We have refinished the heel of the neck and um, have set this neck to be perfectly flat, as flat as possible. The neck is slightly twisted uh, on the base side of the neck, meaning the low E string. There's a slight twist on that side. Uh, so what I'm seeing is a perfectly flat plane on, on the treble side of the guitar, meaning over here. And then this side has a slight little twist in it. Um, roughly up in here, there's kind of a, a twist where it's diving off. And you know, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, we're not gonna replane the, the fretboard, pull the fretboard off the guitar, or anything like that. Uh, so, letting the glue dry, and we will see how this thing turns out in about 36 hours. We're gonna let that glue dry for a long time. Peace, y'all. Have a wonderful day.